How's everybody doing today? Sorry about the look, me and William. We're both, uh, we've been working all day. Our sweaty, our hair's greasy. You know how it is if you work on cars. All right, so if anybody is having the problem where you are having water drip somewhere under the dash of your car. Now there can be multiple things that could be doing this. It could just be simple drips from an AC condenser. It could be a heater core that's leaking. Or it could be this scenario that we have here, okay? Um, this is his sister's van. Uh, what is happening is uh, she would literally probably have a half a gallon of water dump out on her floor when it was raining. So what we did is we came over here, we took the entire grate off, and then uh, did some investigating. Um, all you really have to do is when you come to this point, first thing you need to do, take off the caps for the windshield wiper blades, take off these bolts, they're 15 millimeter. Uh, there's a lot of flathead screws and there's also a lot of these little clips. Uh, you just gotta pop out clips that aren't popped out and these we managed to just push the plastic part back and wiggle its way out. You have to have the hood up to do this as well. Um, so you see all of the windshield wiper contraption. Another thing you need to make sure you do is on that black thing you have the windshield wiper uh, nozzles. You need to make sure you just take out this one cord for it. But what happened in this case is if you come in close, you'll see there are drains in this grate. It collects water, and down here is a drain. And what had happened was it collected so much debris that it caused a drain on this side. There's another drain over on that side. Now when the drain's clogged, this hose, where normally all the excess water would go, uh, gets clogged up. And what happens is it fills all the way up and starts dumping over into the car part. Well, normally, the rain catches here, drains off, and the air freely flows. Well, it was dumping in there. So, um, on the passenger side towards the feet, it would just be gushing water. So, what you need to do is under here, there's a hose. You need to pop the hose off. As you can see, we've cleaned this hose. What we ended up doing was just getting a high-pressure nozzle for our garden hose, sticking it on there, holding it tight, squeezing it, and it pushed all the debris that was in this hose all the way down. And that's really all you need to do to do this. So you just got to do it on both sides. Make sure the hoses are well flushed out and you should not have any problems with dumping water. So and that's all there is to it. Have a good day.